good evening to all welcome you all to the daily current affairs session brought to you by ganesh is academy for the date 15th july 2023 the news which came in indian express newspaper okay let's get straight into the daily current affair analysis The first news is from the as we all know that our Indian Prime Minister has visited France to participate in the Bastille Day Parade, that is National Day of France, in response to the historical bat uh, historical Bastille prison uh, Bastille prison. Uh, Oh, one minute. Okay. As we all know that in the, our Indian Prime Minister has visited in uh, France recently to participate in the Bastille Day Parade, that is the uh, National Day of France in recognition to the Bastille prison attack which took place in 1789, the event after which the revolution of French took place, which in turn led to some historical uh, events which and then it led to the France which we are seeing to uh, led to a uh, led to a democratic situation of the country and uh, a France which we, which we are seeing right now is uh, is because of the revolution that took place during 18th century early 18th century the revolution started because of the Bastille prison attack by the revolutionaries against the monarchical system which we have discussed in the uh, yesterday current affairs session so in line with the uh, bilateral relationship with france a defense a different acquisition council has today cleared the proposal for purchase of 26 rafale marine fighters for the indian navy and also three additional scorpion submarine submarines for the navy so this is what the content of the news is related to. As approved buying of 26 rappel marine fighters and two scorpion, sorry, uh, three scorpion submarines. It is not two, it is three. The reason is as we are, uh, we are now currently using MIG 29K, which is purchased from Russia. which is purchased from Russia. Most of the MiG-29K's aircraft will be retiring soon in the coming decade. And also our own indigenous deck based, twin engine deck based fighters is also currently under development. So there is no alternative for India to buy a twin engine uh, aircraft from another country. So they have gone for uh, buying the uh, Rafale aircraft from France and also government of India has uh, sorry defense acquisition council has approved uh, three more submarines to be bought from three more scorpion uh, sub submarine to be bought from the uh, France. Navy's full capacity will be reached only when, when if it has 18 submarines but currently India has that is Navy has only 16 submarines. Out of those, 30s are going to be ripped, are going to go through the retrofitting process anytime soon. So, considering this situation, the Defense Administration Council has accepted the proposal to buy three more Scorpion uh, submarines from the France. So, this is what the content of the news is related to. So, since the news revolves around Rafale fighter jet, we have to know about the Rafale marine fighters. As we all know, uh, 
in recent previous years the um, indian air force has bought rafale aircraft for its uh, operational needs this rafale uh, aircraft is for marine needs particularly designed for navy so that they could able to operate in the ocean areas so what does this rafale marine air uh, fighter means it is again same as the uh, indian air force rafale uh, aircraft it is also got advanced engine, twin engine multi role jets it can, a, can carry high payload equipped with latest weapon modern sensor radar to detect and track the target the marine version will operate at sea will have this is what the difference between the marine version as well as the normal version of the rafale it will operate at the sea it will have foldable wings and it will have the longer airframe airframe means for example this is the uh, aircraft means this part of this area is called as airframe it will be it's little bit elongated when compared to the normal rafale aircraft and it will also have tail hook tail hook will enable the arrested landing that it will control the whenever the rafale aircraft is coming to the landing site at very high speed means this tailing hook could able to control the speed of the landing of the aircraft it will be like a hook here this hook while landing will be tied to the cable which is below as a result of which while it is moving after landing if it is move, uh, moving at very high speed means that this cable will pull back the hook which is present in uh, present at the tail of the aircraft as a result of which the speed of the aircraft after landing could be easily reduced so that there won't be any kind of crashing will takes uh, takes place because why this hook is very important is as we all know this uh, fighter aircraft will be used mostly in the aircraft carriers that aircraft ca this aircraft ca carriers will be ship, ship based carriers where the distance will be limited it will not be the uh, unlimited distance at is, as it is in the uh, mainland geographical area so since the distance in the aircraft uh, sea based aircraft carrier is very less the the speed has to be controlled very quickly in order to stop the aircraft within the distance of aircraft carrier so that is the reason why tail hook has been uh, specifically modi uh, added to the marine version of the rafale aircraft it can carry anti ship as well as air to surface missile so currently india is now using mig 29k so what does this mig 29k is about it is russian built multi role fighter aircraft again it is twin engine aircraft and it can able to reach the maximum speed of twice of the sound that is 2000 km per hour and it could able to climb up more than 65000 feet and it could able to capable of launch target in sea land as well as air so this is what the details regarding uh, regarding to the mig 29k is about so what does this scorpion submarine mean which the government of india has right now ordered uh, from the france uh, sorry different acquisition council has give has accepted the proposal to order the scorpion submarine from the france the Scor scorpion submarines are conventional attack submarine so it could be a capable of launching a large array of torpedoes as well as missile they are also e equipped with the range of surveillance and intelligence gathering missions they are around 200 feet long 220 feet long and have a height of approximately 40 feet these are the physical features of scorpion submarine they can reach a speed of 11 knots that is 20 km per hour when the, when surface and 20 knots when it is submerged this scorpion class submarine is mostly of diesel electric propulsion system this is why because both diesel as well as electrical energy is used is 
whenever the scorpion submarine is used is uh, submerged or it is operating under under the sea water sea water means the electricity will be used as the fuel for the submarine so electricity will not be available at all the time no so whenever the electricity is low or it, or it is uh, very less to propel the submarine under water the submarine will reach the sea surface as a result of which it could able to gather some air from the atmosphere which could be able to fuel the which could be able to combustion the diesel propulsion propulsion system as a result of combustion of the diesel propulsion system the, elect uh, the electricity could be produced which again will be useful for the submarine to operate under the underground uh, below water level so the, that is the reason why the submarine needs to be periodically come to the sea surface to get the air to uh, to to get the air to to propel the uh, to make the combustion of diesel propulsion system, uh, propulsion system so while it is in surface because of the combustion of diesel propulsion propulsion system it could be able to travel for for the for some distance during this travel uh, with, with the help of the energy produced from diesel propulsion system the it could also able to not only pro produce energy for the movement of the submarine on the sea surface but also to pro and could also able to produce the electric electric energy which is will which will be useful for the uh, propulsion system when the submarine is under the water so this is the reason why as i said why the submarine needs to periodically come see, to the sea surface uh, whenever the uh, electric fuel is not is very less see the right now india has man um, must go right now india has uh, commissioned five submarines and one is under and remaining one is under the trials and it will be commissioned within 2024 so this is the news related to the scorpion class submarine this scorpion class submarine has been uh, approved to acquire from the france under by india model by indian model what is this by indian model it is one of the model of the uh, defense uh, defense ministry to acquire technology from the country which is very specialized in producing defense equipment and also make those technologies to in the uh, make uh, because of the transfer of technologies under this model the, te the technology could be available to the local industry that is present in india so in future in or konja naal la pathinga appadina this technology could again be mastered by the local industry so that the indigenous production of these technology will take place that is the reason why uh, government of india is going to uh, buy the scorpion class submarine under the indian model see by indian model refers to cat ca, this is what the holistic definition uh, uh, explanation related to by indian model we will look into the government explanation about the by indian model by indian category refers to procurement of product from indian vendors meeting one of the two condition first condition is products that have been indigenously pro, the products should be indigenously designed it has to be developed And, uh, and has to be indigenously man, uh, manufactured with the minimum of 50 percentage of indigenous content on the cost basis of total contract value or if it is not indigenously designed or developed all means then the product should contain at least 60 percentage of the indigenous cost indigenous content in the overall cost value of the product this is what the details of by indian model is related to so if a particular indian vendor
what is the objective of this uh, model is to make our local industry to be to get master mastered in the uh, cutting edge technology of the defense equipment and also it able it enables india to achieve the vision set by the government of india that is atmanirbhar vision to indigenously produce the you know, defense equipments in india itself that is the reason why the government of india is going to procure the submarine under by indian um, by indian model so if they are going to procure means that model should, that uh, equipment will contain if it is the de de indigenously designed developed and manufactured means it need to contain 50% content if it is not designed and developed indigenously means it should uh, contain additional 10% of as it is uh, totally 60% of the indigenous content so news has mentioned about the defense uh, acquisition councils after uh, as uh, given the acceptance to approve the acquisition of the submarine channel so let's rafale so what is the acquisition council means the council gives approval to capital acquisition in the long term perspective plans covering a 15 year time span it will give approval to the uh, the what are all the capital acquisition that we, that need to be made for the period of 15 years time span second is it will also give in principle acceptance of next necessity that is whenever a situation arises as arising there has to um, there is a need to buy a particular product immediately means particular product or particular capital or particular product in the sense it is capital what i am mentioning so uh, if, we, uh, if, we, if we needed to purchase the capital immediately means the in principle acceptance of necessity will be given by the defense acquisition council see the the projected requirement must be related to the operational situation foreseen as an imminent or a situation where a crisis has emerged without a prior warning first in the first case uh, it is about the vision that the 15 year time span that is uh, what are what the defense defense uh, sector is going to do and what are all the uh, capital segments that we needed to buy for the period of 15 years time span so that kind of uh, capital acquisition will be approved by the defense acquisition council in the first instance if there is a situation when the, the uh, there is a situation or emergency which is arisen without uh, which which has arisen without any kind of anticipation means without uh, sorry adavu nam edirparada or soolnalai uruvagudhu adha soolnalai illala if ipo nam vandu dilirantu or or equipment so product already purchase pannanum appadina such kind of approval will also given by defense acquisition council in the name of in principle acceptance of necessity and it will also categorize the acquisition proposal uh, proposal relating to buy buy and make and make buy means outrightly buying from other country buy and make means buying from buying a product from one one country learn learn those product and what are all the technical uh, as well as operational requirement are involved in this are involved in those technology and make those technology indigenously in india india itself and make means indigenous making uh, indige not bu not buying anything from outside making it indigenous in india itself so it will categorize the capital acquisition based on the three types these three types will have more sub types so this will other uh, one in and rather namba paakanum the council will be headed by the ministry of defense minister for defense he is the chairman of the council so what we needed to study further is since the scorpion class submarine has been ordered uh, the six scorpion class submarine which is right now uh, in the operation under various categories it is been produced under project 75 of india so what does this project 75 means and also uh, there is another project related to project 75 i uh, project related to indigenization is project 75 i so this project has objective of making the navy uh, indigenously produce their own equipments in india itself so this is what the common aim of the project 75 as well as project 75 i 
means. So, what does the both the project means? What are all the other objectives that these projects holds? We should also know. We have to know about buy, buy, make, and make category, uh, make categories. But as I mentioned, it buy is outrightly buying. Buy and make means buying one product and making it, learning, adapting it to our Indian condition and making and producing those products indigenously. Third is outrightly we are making the product by ourselves without any help of outer countries. There are certain sub uh, sub elements present in the under the three categories. We also should know about the sub elements in the three categories also. Which is available in the Defence Ministry's website, uh, that is Defence Acquisition, Acquisition Council's website itself. And also, we also should know about the SP model, which is also one of the model other than the buy, buy, make, and make categories to make the India self-equipped. That is, in, uh, to self-equipped or self-reliant uh, to make products indigenously in India itself. And other than Defence Acquisition Council, there are other important boards that is defense product uh, procurement board for uh, defense production board defense r and d board these are all comes under defense acquisition council once the decision uh, re related to buying of the capital particular capital acquisition is made under def defense acquisition council the defense procurement board will do certain kind of function the defense production board will do certain kinds of function and defense r and d board will do certain kind of function what are all the function they will be doing and what is the structure of those boards who are all the chairmen as well as members Adela and under we have to know about them also these are all the things which we needed to study about in so in order to have as i said to holistic understanding about the news living with dilute climate change is the us reality it's time to accept and reimagine reimagine our cities See, the author has given a, I said that climate change is occurring, climate change that is severe impact on the countries is, is right now increasing at a speed exponentially. But our planning as well as execution is not, uh, the speed of our planning as well as ex execution is not in tune with the uh, actual climate change that is happening around the world. This is what the author has mentioned. He has given, he has said that our cities has been mostly affected by this kind of climate change and the delayed planning as well as execution. So, he has suggested certain way forward. First is ensuring the existing uh, the drainage does not have any, does not face any kind of hindrance and it is working properly. If there is any kind of silting or blockage or if there is any kind of encroachment uh, if there means it should be uh, taken off immediately so that the uh, passage of the drainage should flow smoothly without any kind of hindrance. Second is there has to be an improvement in road. For example, what the author has mentioned is whenever there is whenever, whenever uh, government is laying a road means it will be laying a road on the top of the old road itself. They will not dwindle the or take away the the older road. As a result of which the height of the road will be increased. And the, and the surrounding areas height will be reduced in relation to the height of the new roads. So, as a result of which whenever the rain is taking place means the, it will be going to the downward area that is the surrounding area where the, those areas will get flooded. So, and also the quality of the roads, those um, the quality of the roads need to be improved so that the, the water gets seeped down into the Aquifers, it does. It should not block the uh, seepage of water into the aquifer. So, the such kind of quality road should also be laid. Third is greening cities and using blue, green, grey infrastructures. Greening city, as we all know, that increasing the lakes, wetlands, and forest covers or green covers through innovative, innovative planning as well as execution, and also. On all this planning as well as execution of greening the cities, there have to be the uh, increased participation of the people itself. This was this is what the author has mentioned, and using blue, green, green, uh, blue, green, and grey infrastructure. This blue is reviving lakes, ponds, wetlands.
grey means the traditional infrastructure which is helpful for us to reduce our drought example uh, water receivers which is anth uh, anthropogenically built by human to reduce the impact of the climate change for example it is uh, it is called as similar to uh, grain infrastructure and other humans and the drought or monsoon failure or low production and the time la ஒருவாக்கிடுவாங்கிஷியல் <laughs> a real demand uh, takes place means and this uh, godowns could release the food products to the people so that they so, and the mari or infrastructure la pathinga appadina green infrastructure la green infrastructure from the name itself we could able to know that increasing the forest cover trees and uh, so on and so forth why they wanted to increase this uh, blue gray and green infrastructure is see blue infrastructure as we all know the lake rivers wetlands ponds will have its own ecological function they will pro they will promote the they will ensure that uh, the particular area surrounding will have sufficient water through the water water cycling method so, and also through wetland there could be uh nutrient cycling take place as a result of which the the waste could be recycled uh, the waste which has been drained through the rain could be easily recycled through the system of wet wetland and similar other function will be promote uh, provided by the green cover and also the uh, the function will be provided by the green infrastructure also so this kind of uh, infrastructure need to be promoted in the cities fourth is reducing flood vulnerability flood vulnerability is making uh, mapping mapping the cities which is very drought prone, prone and uh, clearly monitoring them if there is any kind of uh, uh, disaster that is going to take place and it also in compose in improving early warning system using the technology to clearly monitor those areas which are very drought prone flood prone and any other kind of you know, climate change impact prone areas um, and also improving the early warning system if you all after 2000 uh, 2000s during uh, the surat after the surat flood as well as mumbai flood the government of india has focused more on the early warning system and also the technology is related to the early, uh, early warning system has also enhanced but this enhancement in the early warning systems need to be percolated down to the uh, last villages of the country so this is what the author has mentioned in relation to the way forward of the climate crisis that is happening around the world particular in cities so what we needed to study beyond the news is first we have to know about the sponge city of china what does what is the sponge city of china a sponge city is a city that is designed to absorb clean and use rainfall in ecological friendly way that reduces dangerous polluted runoff techniques include see, permeable roads rooftop garden gardens roofed uh, rooftop gardens means growing gardens in the rooftop so that the wastage of rain water will not take place this uh, rain water could be utilized for the growth of the local fruits and vegetable requirements third is rain water harvesting and rain gardens similar to the uh, rooftop gardens green space as well as blue space green space is forest tree covers blue space means as i said lake, reviving lake pond rivers wetlands which is which is occurred naturally and if if they want wanted means they could able to create them artificially also to enhance the ecological function of those 
lakes, rivers, ponds, and wetland. So this is what the speciality of sponge cities mean of China's about. And what India is doing in relation to the making in relation to the cities to make them climate resilient. About uh, Amrut scheme. The Amrut scheme is one of the scheme which is being implemented under Ministry of Home. No, sorry, Ministry of Housing as well as Urban Affairs to, to ensure that every household has access to tap with access to tap with supply of water and the sewage connection. That is to to reduce the water scarcity in the urban area and also dispose of the sewage of the particular house particular house safely to the drainage system to increase the amenity value of cities by developing greeneries and well maintained open spaces reduction in pollution by switching to public transport promoting or uh, changing uh, promoting public transports and changing the behavioral of people to switch them to have to the public transport and constructing facilities to use non motorized transport uh, for example walking as well as cycling similar to that which is which is not motorized it is centrally sponsored scheme about smart cities mission it is also a similar kind of mission about real, uh, which is which want to make cities equipped with basic infrastructures to give a to give the citizen of those cities a decent standard of life a clean and sustainable environment through application of smart solution through, through technologies the the entire supply of basic amenities as well as other amenities will be centered around the technological solutions the second is the focus is on these as i said sustainable development as, and also inclusive development the idea is to look at the compact areas create a replicable model which will act as a lighthouse to the other aspiring cities see the smart cities is not been implemented on in all other in every cities certain cities has been selected and they are going to uh, implement this project as the pilot project in those cities and by seeing the successful of uh, successful nature of those smart cities other cities could um, uh, re uh, replicate those model in their cities to enhance the standard of uh, standard of living of people the strategic components of area based development is in the smart city smart cities mission are city improvement the three components is first they wanted to improve the city if there is any kind of retrofit uh, retrofitting what means they will do certain kind of retrofitting uh, to suit with the objective of the smart city mission second is if city renewable uh, completely demolish a particular area and redevelop the particular area third is city extension is extending the the city to newer area this is what the uh, strategic component of development in the uh, strategic component based on which the development in the smart cities will take uh, smart cities will be taking place it will as i said it is being implemented by the ministry of urban affairs national urban livelihood mission and it is it is also one of the important livelihood mission being implemented by ministry of housing and urban affairs to make the living of uh, living of the people particularly in the urban area to be uh, very peaceful and so so that they could able to enjoy a decent standard of living to reduce the poverty and vulnerability of women uh, women uh, sorry urban power household by enabling them to access to gainful self employment and skilled wage employment opportunities through building strong grassroots level institution of the poor so by giving training to those poor urban uh, urban poor to get equipped with skill so that they they could be ready for the employability employment opportunities that is available to available to them secondly to make them 
and uh, to provide opportunity for those already skilled with the employment opportunities and the mission would also aim to provide shelters equipped with essential service to the urban poor so that the basic necessity could be fulfilled which will enable them to move on with the move on to the next stages of the life that is acquiring skills and making them employed in the particular area so that they could be able to earn a living and which will enable them to live uh, lead a uh, peaceful as well as decent standard of life the mission would also address livelihood concerns of the livelihood concerns of the urban street vendors by giving them training by giving them easy access to the credit and also uh, bringing them under the social security net and also skilling them with the, with them uh, skilling them with the market need technologies and uh, and and other skills which which needed to enhance their operational capabilities these are all the support are uh, provided under national livelihood mission for the urban street vendors as i have said it is been implemented by ministry of housing and urban affairs so what we needed to study further is since we have discussed about the green blue grey infrastructure uh, in that i have also mentioned about the specialty of blue infrastructures that is providing uh, water to the providing water naturally to the surrounding areas in which it is present through the mechanism called water cycle and also dispo- uh, cleaning the drain drain waste which is coming towards it through a process called nutrient cycle so what we have to know about the nutrient as well as water cycle water cycles what the nutrient as well as water cycle is and second is we have to know about ra- the wetlands in india what are all the total wetlands that comes under the ramsar wetlands in india and also we have to know about major river systems in india fourth is we also should know about the e vehicle policy that is particular um, india right now trying or aspiring to make a big move from the you know, fossil vehicles to the non fossil non fossil vehicle in that move e vehicle policy plays a very important role so that we should also know about what does the e vehicle policy means fourth is we should know about the monsoon as well as western disturbance which is right now one of the major reason for the flood in the northern northern part of the countries of country northern part of india and what are all the climate impacts on the monsoon as well as western disturbance we should also be aware of them, those angles also wp inflation falls for third month deflation in wpi continued for third month in a row in june the fall is due to uh, due to certain reasons like high base effect and steep fi- uh, pr- uh, fall in the price of the fuel and fall in the price of the food and also the certain uh, base metals which is required for manufacturing so we should know about what does the world sale price index mean? it measures the change in the price of goods sold and traded in the bulk by the wholesale organization to the other wholesale organization based upon the transactions the goods have been prioritized uh, the goods have been weighted weightaged according to the value of the transaction in the in, in the value of the transaction the manufacturing products occupies nearly 64.2 percentage of values so 64.2 percentage weightage is has been given to manufactured products second is primary articles has been given 22.6 weightage it is also in correspondent correspondence to the value in the uh, wholesale transaction third is fuel and power 13.12 so if there is any change in manufacturing manufactured products and their price value means there will be corresponding change will act, uh, that uh, uh, glaring visible change will occur in the wholesale price index of the in india so its base year is considered changed from 2004 to 5 to 
first initially it was 2004 to 5 and now it is changed to 2001 and 2 according to the economic change that has happened around, around the world as well as in India and it is being released by the world sale price index is being released by uh, office of economic advisor which comes under ministry of commerce and industry. One minute, there is some day technical. Okay. What is the difference between the WPI index and the consumer price index? Is apart from the weightage given to the products in the in those corresponding value of the transaction, uh, WPI does not include price changes that is happening in service. This is what. But in case of CPI, it will include the price changes that is happening in service. This is what is the difference between the wholesale price index as well as the consumer price index. So, since the deflation is happening for third straight month in the wholesale price index, we should also know about what is deflation. Whenever the rate of price decreases to negative rate means such uh, scenarios is called deflation. Whenever a rate of prices decreases, but it is but it remains above the negative ratings, it is called disinflation. So, likewise, there are other cycles of inflation that, that also we should know about. Apart, so, what we should what we needed to study further is what is CPI, what is inflation cycle. Whenever there is inflation, means there is another synonym word in India is the central bank, which is the controlling authority of which is the controlling authority. RBI acts as the controlling authority uh, of inflation in India. They are the controlling authority to regulate the inflation in India. So, we have to know about RBI's monetary policy committee and also we should know about liquidity adjustment facility. What are the changes in liquidity? Uh, what happens if there is any increase in the decrease in the repo rate as well as repo, reverse repo rate on the corresponding inflation? Uh, Inflation in and corresponding inflation because, because based upon the increase and decrease in the repo rate corresponding inflation line and other we have to know about them also. Apart from knowing the what is liquid adjust, uh, adjustment facilities. India's moon shot. So from the heading itself, we could know that the news is related to the successful launch of the Chandrayaan 3. Which taking place today. Chandrayaan 3 has launched successfully and it is now into the orbit of the earth. It will take around nearly 40 days to reach the lunar orbit. It will reduce the it will reduce its speed when it, once it's reached the lunar orbit so that it it could be able to uh, safely launch uh, land in the southern part of the moon. This is what the objective of the mission is related to. So, what does the Chandrayaan 3 mission is about? Chandrayaan 3 is the follow on mission of Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate the capability of India in safe landing as well as rover roving on the lunar surface. It consists of landers as well as rover configuration. It will be launched by LVM 3, Launch Vehicle Mark 3 from Sadish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. The propulsion will carry the lander 
and rover configuration till 100 km lunar orbit after that the propel uh, the, la the lander as well as the rover will get separated from the propulsion system it will uh, land safely in the uh, lunar orbit based upon the configuration and by landing it will uh, re reduce the lunar as well as sorry the lander as well as rover by landing they will the lander particularly reduce its speed so that there, there won't be any kind of crash landing which was happened in Chandrayaan 2. So what is the launch vehicle Mark 3 which is the launch vehicle for Chandrayaan 3 means it is three stage vehicle solid, solid stage first stage is solid second is liquid third is cryogenic upper stage and it is the new heavy list vehicle it could able to lift lift up to 4000 kilogram of spacecraft to the GTO geosynchronous transfer orbit so what does the uh, earth orbit maneuvering which is now used and in chandra and 3 to take the lander as well as rover to the lunar orbit see whenever the particular satellite is uh, launched into the orbit means to if it is making earth orbit maneuvering means see if it is earth the far farthest distance is called apogee the closest distance is called perigee the closest distance from the earth is called the orbit closest to the earth is called perigee the orbit farthest to the earth is called apogee and uh, what the chandrayaan 3 mission is going to do is it wanted to maintain the apogee position as constant and it want to increase the perigee's orbit drastically so like this why it wanted to increase the orbit drastically is whenever it reaches uh, whenever it, re it reaches the closer position of the earth the gravity try the gravity of the earth tries to pull the satellite back to the earth so in order to escape the gravity the sat uh, uh, the pro the satellite or the, the the missile what is the launch vehicle pathing abina extra va push pannu so that they could able to escape the gravity and while pushing it will uh, jump one uh, jump from one orbit to another orbit as a, as a result of which the distance corresponding distance related to the perigee will be increased and when, when once again when it comes to the nearer to the earth in the apogee position it will again make a drift to escape the gravity while making the drift it will again uh, jump to the third layer of the orbit similarly they it will try uh, orbit around the earth and it will reach a position where the impulse will be increased so that when it re drift, make a drift in relation to the uh, gra gravity of the earth that drift will enable to escape from the earth's gravity as the whole as a result of which it will escape from the gravity after certain after gathering some momentum because of the rotation that is taking that it is taking around the earth so after escaping from the gravity because of the uh, because of because of its reach of gra uh, gravity escape velocity it could be able to easily if there is the, in the, in the moon will be here it could be able to orbit in the moon uh, orbit in the moon similarly while orbiting the moon it will slow down its speed so that it could be able to land in the moon this the reverse of the maneuvering which taken place in the earth will be taking place in moon so that it could able to easily land in the moon so this is what the earth orbit maneuvering is about the maneuvering is nothing but revolving around the earth so that it will to gather some momentum after gathering some momentum that uh, the momentum uh, particular situation will be reached where the drift the given by the air, uh, aircraft will be will be enough to es uh, escape the escape uh, gravity of the earth 
So this is what the earth orbit maneuvering is about. And Chandra N3 is doing this only. So what we needed to study further is what are all the types of orbit and what is the difference different launch vehicle of ISRO and also we should know about the Gaganyaan mission and also we should know about the International Space Station and also we should know about the Chandrayaan 1 findings. Chandrayaan 1 finding which was launched during 2008 was a major, major mission which founded out the water molecule that is present in the craters in the moon. Why it is founded as it founded the possibility of the presence of water in the crater because of, because such region is will be uh, will not be exposed to the sun sun at all. So there could be high possibility that more more water molecules could be present. This is what the finding of the Chandrayaan one is. So based upon the finding of Chandrayaan one, now USA is USA wanted to get one step deeper into the research of moon by sending their they are planning to send their human to the moon to research if there is any kind of water water adha thanni iruka unno na evlo thanni iruke enna iruke adu saranda aaraichigala vandu pandradhukosam us is planning to uh, take its astronauts to uh, astronaut to the moon so the planning is under uh, is now underway so we have to know about the the findings of the chandrayaan 1 what are all the other findings other than the So, Chandrayaan 1 is a water rupin kandu pidi chirukku. Adha thawar vayar enna kandu pidi chirukku rathu yin amilu check pani pahak. So, UPSC prelims question. What does? So, let's discuss. Consider the following statement. The Mangal Mangalyan launched by ISRO is called mass orbiter mission. Yes, this statement is correct. Made India the second country to have a spacecraft orbit orbit the mass after USA. No. It, it, it is India became fourth country after USA, Russia and European Space Agency. India became the fourth space agency to orbit around the mass. So, the second statement is wrong. Third is made India the only country to be successful in making its spacecraft orbit in the orbit in its very first term. Yes, this is what the achievement made by India. So, answer is C. 1 and 3 only. With reference to the inflation in India, which one of the following statement is correct? Controlling the inflation in India is the responsibility of the government of India only. No. As I have said, in India, inflation will have the synonym with the word RBI, that is Central Bank of India. Central Bank of India is the controlling authority of inflation. So, the government will also act through other means. But the RBI was created to control the inflation. So, first statement is wrong. Second is, the Reserve Bank of India has no role in controlling inflation. So, the statement is absolutely wrong. Decreased money circulation helps in controlling the inflation. Okay, this statement is correct. So, this is what we have to do. We have to study the fourth statement also. Increased money circulation helps in controlling the inflation. Okay, so increased money circulation helps in controlling the inflation. No, increased money circulation will increase the inflation in the economy. So, the fourth statement is wrong. Third statement is only correct. UPSC mains question. Launched on 25th December 2021, James Webb Space Telescope has been in news since then. What are its unique features and which makes it superior to the to its predecessor Space Telescope? What are the key goals of the mission? What potential benefit does it hold for the holds for the human race? Answer in 250 words, 15 mark. I want those students, those who are watching this current affairs session online, please do comment the answers point on the means UPSC means question which we are seeing right now on the board. So that the sharing and learning of new viewpoints could take place and we all could benefit from each other and we all could grow or one arm we could be able to grow. We all could grow together. So please do post the answer point for this question. 
so thank you students please do comment subscribe share and like the daily current affair video and subscribe the video so that you could be able to uh, receive the daily notification related to the ganesh ayer academy and all the daily notification of daily current affairs and also any other important videos being posted by the ganesh ayer academy in the ganesh ayer youtube channel thank you